In canals, rivers, and oceans around the world lives one of the fiercest predators known to man. That's an animal. Look at that. Dr. Darrell McPhee from Bond University is on a mission to tag 50 bull sharks with acoustic or GPS tags. Weight for weight, pound for pound, they have the highest bite force of the three most dangerous species of shark. Yeah, 2.8 points. Where's the tag? There it is. I've got it. Oh, no. Bull sharks have few natural predators and are one of the three main species of sharks that attack people. I've seen Mick Fanning had that close encounter with that great white. And it doesn't tell me never enter the water ever again. People have to realise it's their domain. You know, if someone gets attacked by a shark, it can't feel like we can, so unfortunately it's got sharp teeth and causes some serious injuries. Together with an experienced angling team, they catch, tag, and release the sharks back into the oceans and waterways of southeast Queensland and northern New South Wales. What we're about today is understanding the movements of bull sharks. So it's really critical to understand bull sharks for a range of reasons, for their conservation uh, and also for bather safety. By tracking their movements along the east coast of Australia, Dr. McPhee's aim is that the data collected will lessen the risk of bull shark attacks on humans. The real scientific question and really what we're trying to nail in this series is where do the big bull sharks breed? Filmed along the east coast in some of the most iconic parts of Australia, shark pursuit gives a front row seat into the adrenaline filled world of catch and release shark fishing. What's happened? You win some, you lose some, I guess. <laughs> 